Welcome to D Beaver's YouTube channel. We regularly talk about how different features in our products work. Today, we want to dive back into Cloud Beaver, our lightweight browser application that combines the functionality of our desktop solution with the simplicity of a web interface. This video is dedicated to working with Visual Query Builder. In this Visual SQL Editor add on, you can make queries from one or more tables without writing a single line of SQL code. You do not need to be proficient in SQL scripting to work with it. Let's start with something simple, like creating a select query from a single table. Imagine that you need to take from an existing table with your company's products only the columns with references to these products and their purchase volume. To do this, you can open SQL Editor and switch to the Query Builder tab in the right-hand side menu. Then, you can drag the required table into the tab. To get the results set with the required columns, you should mark them on the VQB tab. As you can see, the relevant clause will automatically appear in the box to the right of the corresponding tab. Run the Ready statement by pressing the Run button on the left toolbar or using a shortcut. When the script is executed, you'll get the requested results set consisting of several columns of one table. But let's complicate the task and add a second table to the Query Builder window in addition to the first one. Suppose that along with links to the products and the amount of orders from one table, you need to get information about the orders, company names, order dates, and totals. As you already have a table with this data, you can drag and drop it into the corresponding tab with the first table and tick the necessary columns into the tab. You may notice that a few more lines automatically appear in the right view of the query. It now contains several lists of columns that will be in the result set. The query also defines a join between the tables. This is the so called inner join, which is the merging of records between two tables. In this case, the linking column does this because it contains the same values in both tables. We show you how VQB works in Cloud Beaver with examples, but if you want to dive deeper into joins, we recently released a video about different types of table relations. You can find the link in the description and the pop up in this video's top right corner. After running a new query, it may seem that the job is done since you have a set of results from two tables. However, let's assume that you don't need all the data from the selected columns this time. You can filter the final result in the Filter field in VQB. Since the data contained in the marked columns are ideal for a conditional quarterly report, let's try to filter the results set by order dates from the corresponding column. First, it will simplify the work with the result data, and second, it will make them more organized. Time to run the script with the filter field already filled in. Now that the summary table is ready, you can work with it in Cloud Beaver or download it using the export button on the bottom toolbar and send it to your colleagues as an example of a quarterly report. We hope you enjoyed this video and working with tables in Visual Query Builder in Cloud Beaver. If it's handy for you, feel free to share this video with your colleagues. You'll find even more videos and whole playlists about DBeaver's products on our channel. Watch, follow, and subscribe. See you in the next video.